Hi, this is Tom Berger with Cookie Daddy TV. You've probably seen some of our two, three, four ingredient breads, cakes, um, muffins. I'm going to do one today that again is only three, yet this bread has no carbs. There's no flour. It consists of eggs, cream cheese, and honey. And I've thrown in a little bit of baking powder, like a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon, that I will put the egg whites in and make them big and fluffy. Anyway, you'll see. So first, let's separate three eggs. We don't want any of the yolk in with the egg whites, but a little egg white in with the yolk doesn't hurt. And I do it in a separate bowl in the event an eggshell wants to be stuck in there with the egg whites, then it's easier to take it out of there than take it out of there with the nice egg whites. And if you've ever needed to take shell out, you just use the eggshell to grab hold of the other eggshell. It's kind of neat. Almost acts like a magnet. But if you do drop eggshell in there, you just go in there with your eggshell, dig it out, and it'll cling right to it. Now I have three egg whites in there. To the three egg yolks, I'm going to add three tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm using whipped cream cheese. It'll be easier to mix. As you can see, I'm doing pretty healthy tablespoons of cream cheese. And about a tablespoon of honey. Should add some nice sweetness. Now we just mix these together. I'm going to make the egg whites. Remember we've got three egg whites in here and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. We got peeps. So I think we're ready to join the egg whites and the egg yolks. Get them back together. Let's just put a little bit of this in here. And we want, we want to be kind of gentle with this because we don't want to deflate the egg whites. They will deflate a little bit. But do it gently. Then we'll have lovely puffy bread. I'm going to pour this in here. Now we'll gently, remember, gently combine this. So this is honey, egg yolks, we've mixed with the egg whites, we've got cream cheese in with the egg yolks, we have a, an oven that is preheated to 300 degrees, and we're going to dollop these onto a baking sheet and cook for 17 to 20 minutes and you'll see they get fluffy. I think we're looking pretty good. Often in recipes you'll read a prepared baking sheet. A prepared baking sheet can be one that's you know got butter all over it or it has parchment paper or it has silp hat. I love to use this stuff. Super parchment baking liner. It's about a third the cost of a, a silk hat. It's practically like paper. And I folded this one because I'm using a small baking sheet. And when you're finished with it, you just wash it, dry it, and it's ready to use again. It's, we've had these for years. They're wonderful. Now, let's do about a tablespoon. They're not going to spread out. They'll just puff. So you can have them pretty close together. 
And I like to sprinkle a little bit of rosemary on each one. You could sprinkle garlic powder. Be creative. Can't go wrong. Hey, it's been 17 minutes. They look nice and puffy and brown. Don't become enamored with the puffiness. They will sink down. I think, I think you'll find these called cloud bread. We're gonna kind, we're gonna call them souffle bread. You can store them for about a week in the fridge. You can freeze them when you want to reheat them. If you toast them, just do it for about a minute because they will burn. They're delicate. People often use them for open face sandwiches or you can put two of them together and make a sandwich. I've also split them in half and opened them and thrown stuff in and then closed them back. A whole lot of stuff you can do with them. Enjoy. And don't forget, eat well and eat often.